back to Samurai Channel. Today's episode, we are on our first hunt for this pilgrimage that is initiated by the St. Joseph Tavares Church, and we are happy to be here. So, guys, we're gonna be showing you around Kana. Yes, guys, we are delighted to have joined the St. Joseph Parish pilgrimage. By the way, what is a pilgrimage? It is a journey undertaken for a religious motive, and pilgrims commonly seek a specific place that is sanctified by association with divinity or a holy personage. Ayun guys, uh, dito tayo ngayon sa Kana. Ayan, sumama tayo sa pilgrimage at uh, pinangunahan ng pari dito sa Tabaris. And uh, iba-ibang lahi yung nandito guys at halo-halo. Uh, Pero marami dito na yung mga kapabayan na pipino na nandito. Alright, if we can all come on in nice and close. Alright, welcome everyone. Welcome Father. Welcome. It's great to be here. Yeah. Great to yeah. be with all of you. Uh, so thank you for making the time today. Yes. It's a beautiful thing when we can remember that the land that we're walking on is holy. Amen. Now all of the earth is a gift from God. Amen. But it is a beautiful thing to know that Jesus walked on this land. Amen. And we can get very busy when we're in our lives in Beirut and lots of chore, lots of work and lots of things. But it's important to remember that, that Jesus is here with us. Amen. Amen. Always walking right with us. Amen. And so today we're going to be walking with Jesus. Amen. And so our first stop here is that beautiful story of the water into wine at the wedding feast at Cana. Amen. And so we're going to walk in and we're going to see the, the grotto. And we'll spend some time in prayer there. Uh, and then we'll come back out. After a little while, we'll get on the buses. And then we're going to go into Tyre. And we're going to be able to walk on a street where Jesus walked. Amen. Yeah. A beautiful thing. And then we will end the day with Mass in Magdushe, uh, where Jesus and Our Lady waited uh, while he was inside him. So I want to just, I want to read the reading from the Gospel of John about Cana to remind us of that story. So let's begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We now have a reading from the Gospel of John. On the third day there was a wedding in Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. When the wine ran short, the mother of Jesus said to him, they have no wine. Jesus said to her, woman, how does your concern affect me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servers, do whatever he tells you. Now there were six stone jars there for Jewish ceremonial washings, each one holding 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus told them, fill the jars with water, so they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, draw some out now and take it to the head waiter. So they took it, and when the head waiter tasted the water that had become wine without knowing where it had come from, although the servers who had drawn the water knew, the head waiter called the bridegroom and said, everyone serves good wine first, and then when people have drunk freely, an inferior one. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this as the beginning of his signs in Galilee, in Cana of Galilee. So he revealed his glory, and his disciples began to believe in him. After this, he and his mother and his brothers and his disciples went down to Capernaum and stayed there only a few days. So I just invite you when we are praying in the grotto, in the church here. First, this is the first place that Jesus performed a miracle. And so this is Jesus starting to figure out what it was for him to be God and human. Amen. So this is where we can come to know Jesus more. It's also interesting, what was happening? What, what kind of an event was happening here? A wedding. wedding yeah. We look in the Old Testament and we see beautiful reminders. God loves us like a bride loves a groom or a groom loves a bride. God's love for us is like a loving couple. Amen. And so remember how much God's love is for each one of us. Amen. And also, at a wedding, what do we do? 
We celebrate. We dance. And eat. And we eat. <laughs> Very important. We we dance. We drink. We dance. We eat. We have fun. Yes. God's first miracle, Jesus's first miracle, was in a place of celebration. Amen. I came that my joy might be in you, and your joy might be complete. That's what Jesus says to us. Yes. He wants us to know how much he loves us in the joy of a party. And so as we pray today, let's thank God for Jesus in our lives. Let's thank God for being able to walk on the ground where Jesus walked, but also to remember that God's desire is for us to be fully alive and to be Full joyful. Joy. And so let's give God give God thanks for that. Amen. 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 Let's go in and pray at the grotto and spend some time and then we can come back out to the bus. Yun guys, uh, tapos nang nag-pray si Father. So, papasok na tayo dito sa loob guys. And marami tayong mga kasama ngayon. Apat na bus. So, let's go! And right after the introduction of Father Daniel Coro SJ, we then all proceeded to the Holy Grotto with a high spirit. The feeling of walking on this holy place where Jesus Christ first performed his miracle by turning the water into wine at a wedding here in Cana is extremely amazing and we are blessed to be here today. Ngayon guys, uh, first time nating uh, pumunta dito sa Cana pero malapit lang din sila sa tire guys, yung tire dati naman na inapuntahan namin so yun do yung next uh, na pupuntahan. So we are now heading to the holy cave or to the grotto, but first, a sighting of an olive tree tied with tissues and textiles is quite an attraction. Accordingly, what we are seeing are the faithful's kind of offerings to fulfill their wishes. Ayan guys, ah, ang ating mga kababayan na ah, nakasama sa atin dito. So, dito sa Holy Land. First time nyo bang pumunta rito? Yeah, me first time, yes. Ah, yes, yeah, so parehas tayo Holy dito Land sa Kana. Uh, Ikaw, ma'am. Uh, Ay, nakapunta na ako so many times. And along the way, we've noticed this huge isolated rock where the reliefs of 13 persons identified as Jesus and his disciples by local oral tradition. Jesus was clearly identified as the main character and of his 12 apostles by the 12 smaller persons, four on his right and eight on his left, and two small conic steels border the engraving. Iconographers identify the most ancient representation of Christ surrounded by his 12 disciples in paintings of Roman catacombs dating back to the 3rd and 4th centuries. So these are in the second century, second, third century. The, they carved, so the middle one is Jesus, and then there are 12 disciples. So there are 13 characters that they carved into the stone. Is it? After all those years, wow. Amazing, isn't it? Yes, Father. They should come here. <laughs> kita tayo ditong uh, cave so papasok tayo mamaya dyan pero alam ko maliit lang yata guys so silipin natin and finally guys we already have a visual of the holy cave which is a natural cave at the end of this trail nowadays inside the cave we can observe a wooden cross with some statue and icons of the virgin mary and saints during the 1990s, this site was visited as an archaeological site. This cave also serves as a refuge of the Christian escaping persecution who are said to have carved the rocks on the site. Since then, more and more people visited the site, attracted mainly by its reputation as a miraculous cave, where different rituals took place, such as collecting its soil to make amulets, touching the wet walls of the cave for benediction, lighting candles, and leaving ex votos. And with the number of visitors increasing, the cave gradually turned into a place of worship, 
known for its miracles, and some people say that it is dedicated to the Virgin Mary. I'm standing on the edge of a cliff. Realize there must be more to life than this. Reaching for the stars, traveling so far. Dragonfly. So again guys, we're done here on this uh, cave and we will proceed to the next area. It will be on Tyre. We are now going to Tyre, to the Hippodrome uh, in Tyre and the we will read the story of the Syrophoenician woman. Uh, first remember, like many of us, uh, that Jesus would go to places that weren't his home. So he was originally from Galilee and Nazareth but sometimes he would go to other places. Whether it was for work or other reasons, Jesus was a migrant, Jesus was a refugee. And so we will go with him. And the nice thing there is that before the Hippodrome, there is a road, an old Roman road, that uh, Jesus might very well have walked himself. So we can actually walk the road that he walked. Ayan guys, uh, meron din yung uh, souvenir area dito guys. So pwede din tayo bumili kung anong meron dito. So titingnan natin. Anong nabili mo ma'am? Ayan. Ah, there's no end of this. Ayan, na sila ng So, magkano? Mag two dollars each. Ah, two dollars each. Ayan, may two dollars pala eh. May one dollar. Oh. Ayan guys, uh, bumili tayo ng souvenir. So, may nakalagay dito na kana. Marami na tayong ganito guys, pero uh, bibili tayo dahil uh, may nakasulat na kana. So, 